Hello, Sagittarius. How is everybody doing? We are here with a general and timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm seeing something that you're working through, but I'm seeing this be more so going on behind the scenes. Like, there may be a problem that you have or something that you've been dealing with or, um, like, a difficult situation with somebody, but it looks more so like, I don't know, something psychologically that you're working through and maybe something that you're keeping more private to you. I'm looking at the Eight of Cups here and also the Queen of Wands. So... This is you getting to a space where you're like, why am I going to hold out and stay within a situation that I don't feel like is working any longer? I want to be true to myself being in flow within this moment and really not resisting. And this is me admitting that maybe I'm really finished with something and that I'm actually going to move on. In moving on, in making this decision... Because when we start off with the Eight of Cups, I see it be like less about that moving on process of needing to accept. So you may have already accepted that something's like not it for you any longer, not resonating with you. It's like time to move forward. I see this more so as being an emphasis on now I'm going to find what I'm looking for because that is like the epitome of what this card represents. And by you finally doing that within this situation, moving into this space where you feel like this is like a reclamation of self in a way, to be moving into a space where you are stepping into and embodying this energy of the Queen of Wands, this is like I'm taking back my power, I feel that I'm staying true to myself, I'm not compromising in a way that I don't want to compromise, because you stepping into this energy of the Queen of Wands... I see the King of Wands as being like, I'm going to take action in this way and it may be like a more public way or it may be like more of a statement. I see the Queen of Wands as more like an internal statement that's being made, like you doing something for yourself, maybe not necessarily for other people, but the focus is on you and what you need and what's going to help you to feel empowered and like you feel confident about this move that you're making and you again feel like this is you really showing up for yourself with that fire energy. For some of you, this has to do with you and another person. For others of you, this can be like a work setting or like something that you had been involving yourself in before. A role of sorts. And you could be stepping into more of a role that feels more fitting to you, more easily fitting. Okay, we have Jupiter. Jupiter is your ruling planet, Sag. Something particular about the timing here. There may be a particular time frame that you're working with. When you step into this energy, I'm seeing you be like, why did it take me this long? It's almost something where you come out on the other side of this situation and you feel so good that you feel very happy to be there and it's a moment that feels very validating for you. Uh, so there's a focus here on reciprocity. You're going to be getting that. It may not be immediate though. I'm almost seeing your guides like make you work for something where it doesn't happen immediately but it's definitely going to be happening reciprocity the six of pentacles you could have been involved in something before where you felt like it was not up to your standards your needs weren't being met it was like failing to meet your expectations or just something didn't feel balanced any longer and so that's what you're moving towards now but again to have the wheel of fortune before this i see this as being something where timing wise things are going to fall into place but it may not be immediate but it's going to happen
it seems like this is um like one of many steps that you've been taking to like regain a sense of balance within your life figure that out okay yeah, it definitely feels like something you're sort of waiting to kick in. So you left something because there was this part of you that knew you weren't going to find what you needed there. But I'm also seeing there be like this delay between you being like, yes, that was definitely like the right choice. Or maybe like this delay for it to kick in that you feel confident about doing this. But I'm seeing this as a move to actually build your confidence. Like even though you may not be seeing instant results i'm seeing that you're going to be seeing those results that you wanted to see okay it may not be right away but you're doing what needs to be done so don't discount the progress that you're making just because you may not immediately be seeing something okay because i'm seeing like energetically speaking i'm seeing you definitely making progress here but physically you may not be seeing that yet It's going to be kicking in, okay? It's just going to take time. Yes. It seems like this is also something that you deeply want as well, and this is you really investing in what you want. Ideally. What I'm just getting, like the overall message from your guides is that you're on track, you're making the right choices, you are going to achieve what this is that you're set out doing. Don't get um don't get discouraged just because you may not be seeing a result right now cuz you're going to be seeing it, okay? If you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to be seeing the result that you want to see. Like the ideal result that you want to see. This isn't just like, yeah, it's going to turn out 50% the way that you wanted to. I'm seeing like, a hundred. you're going to see 100% what you wanted to see. Like this is exactly how you get the result that you want. So don't let the, the timing factor throw you off. Seems to like something needed to end in order for things to balance out or for there to be like a sense of, yeah, balance, fairness, equality. You could have also ended something on the basis of this is not adding up to like long term what I want it to add up to because I'm seeing you in this very very like wise energy I'm seeing the emperor come out this is you really thinking about like your future and your legacy and the things that you care about and your long term and like what you're building within your life and asking yourself like how do I want to exert my Mars energy I'm seeing like something needed to be brought to an end but you come out being like that was the best chess move I could have possibly made and I'm seeing like that is how you get reciprocity within some sort of instance that you find yourself in that you made happen I'm seeing you definitely be like a professional chess player here within your life absolutely like a lot of concentrated energy used for discernment like to have the Emperor and to talk about Mars energy, especially to have the Emperor next to the Magician here, like your Mars energy, Mars is associated with like construction and building things and like engineering stuff. So there's this like you engineering your life in a particular way and to also have Mercury here 
this is like your vision and what you're creating, what you're doing and what you're thinking. Because Mercury is your brain and your mind and your processing and your communication and how you're modeling things and fixing things. And then your Mars energy is like how you're utilizing that, how you are taking things in your head and translating in them, translating that into like physical action and decisions and behavior. So it looks like you're checking in with yourself and being like, what am I doing right now that I don't feel particularly fulfilled by? And how do I invest in the things that I do feel a sense of fulfillment within? So that's the process that you're going through right now. I'm seeing you make this decision to invest in the things that you feel a sense of passion for the things that you want, especially internally. This is not about external validation. This is about internally you validating yourself. I'm seeing you start investing in the things you want to invest in. And I'm seeing you look very confident about your ability to pull in these things that you want. This is like, I can make that happen. I'm able to like attract these things that I want. I'm able to go out and get those things. I'm able to prioritize my wants and my needs and my desires. You making decisions for yourself. So, in the process, there's going to be some stuff that inev inevitably needs to come to an end, but I'm seeing this is actually supportive of, like, the bigger picture you're trying to paint. So there may be some stuff where you're like, ooh, that hurts a little bit, or, like, it's really hard to let go of that. But I know from a zoomed out perspective, which, Sag, it's what you're great at, seeing things from a zoomed out perspective, seeing the bigger picture, the gestalt of all of it. This is that moment here where you're like, there may be some little things that need to end or some things that it feels like a big deal in the moment. But I know from the bigger picture, this is what needs to be done. These are the littler, smaller pieces that need to move around in order for me to like get this bigger result that I want. And I'm seeing this definitely again be like the best chess move that you could be making because this is about reciprocity. This is about there being like equal balance and flow and you doing things that you feel like are worth it to you. This is like I'm pursuing the things that matter to me, the things that are connected and in alignment with my purpose. And I also feel like I'm being held in that space in the way that I want to. I feel like I'm being recognized in like my greatest purpose and power and capabilities. And that this like meets my standards of like things that are worth my time to be doing and investing in and involving myself in and including within my life. And I'm seeing this just be like a progress that you've been making as far as what you've been manifesting and cultivating in your life. So this just feels like the next steps that you are taking to get everything lining up the way that you want to. Like, I'm definitely getting sad for you. Like, definitely a mastermind energy. Like, everything feels very, very deliberate. Everything feels very on purpose, how you're doing things. And even these, like, s these other things. I don't, I feel like using the word smaller, like, isn't a great like descriptor to use here because like these things may be bigger things that need to come to an end but I'm seeing you be like it's just a casualty that needs to happen here because it's for like a higher purpose or a greater good of me like really getting what I want so even though there may be some smaller things that feel painful that you're moving through right now or that you're letting go of or like it hurts to shed this I'm seeing you know that it's for like a bigger reason why you're doing this and it's for the greater coming together of something. I'm just looking at Jupiter, Aries, and Mercury here. All right, my friends, we're going to leave the reading here. I'd like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.